What's happening guys? Um, welcome back to the channel Foot Golf's Coming Home. Uh, yeah, 3D, 3D Fight Club press conference today uh, degenerated into a bit of a farce. Said in previous videos, they've got to have the technology sorted. You know, camera-wise, recording-wise, you know, you could have the best things in the world happening if you don't record it properly. Then you haven't got the footage. Um, so I've got a four-point plan, right? This video, I'm going to title it something like 3D Fight Club Rescue Package because after today's uh, shenanigans, it's sort of back to the drawing board, really, for the, for the lads at 3D. I got a four point plan, okay. Uh, I think it's four. Let me just check. Do, 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 do. I don't know, maybe four, maybe three. Actually, I've only written down two things. Anyway, first thing uh, kick off time. I suggested this before. Now, you've got UFC uh, that night in London, I think. I know it's in the UK. That's going to be, uh, that's going to impact on the amount of people who are going to buy this pay-per-view, right? So switch it to a three o'clock start, all right, for the 3D Fight Club. The added bonus of that is the people watching are going to have four hours less bevy inside them. Now, you've seen today with just a couple of dozen people, uh, it was unmanageable. Now, if you can imagine on a night where each fight camp are uh, bringing down lots of people, I'm sure they're all going to be flipping, sniffing and all that, okay, but on the piss. Start at three o'clock, early kickoff. Um, you'll have a lot less hassle from the punters. Plus then you'll have less impact from the UFC in the night. You could even put a big screen up in bowlers. Everybody stays behind after the fights. Do the fights three till seven. People stay behind in bowlers. Watch the UFC on the big screen. Uh, bowlers will take a massive take-ins on the bevy in the night. A lot more than they would have across the day. And I'm sure you can get a cut of the bevy money. So yeah, first things first. Early kickoff to save uh, riots in the crowd. Um, and up the numbers. So you're not going head to head with Dana White because he's a bit more experienced at this business. So that's the first uh, part of my four point plan. The second part, yeah, the uh, quality of the footage today was poor. Um, I've said this before, you've got to get this right. So what I suggest is get in touch with somebody, somebody like Atwood or someone like that, yeah. Remember when Atwood sent a cameraman, a cameraman down to uh, to the gym with Darren G, who ended up uh, in the background of a Darren G video because G was pissed off, looking like he'd been taken hostage. But if you'd have had somebody like him there today, you know, an experienced cameraman with a proper camera and uh, you know recording equipment, if he'd have been down there filming that today. He could now be edited a 10 or 15 minute um, short trailer for Fight Night, which would serve as a, a very, very good advert uh, to help ticket sales and pay-per-views. You know, instead you've got a load of grainy footage, shaky footage. Um, I was bouncing back and forth before uh, between Trolls, Trolls is Live, Fighting Trolls is Live, and Dougie Joyce is Live, and... You know, trolls. The picture quality on fighting trolls live was better than the one on Dougie's live, and you know, I seen better on that. I think it was that motorsports guy's footage. You know, with these sort of iPhone hundred and fifties, whatever they're up to now. There's no reason why you can't get spot on footage out of a phone, but you get a, you know a proper cameraman down there, and he could have made sure that there was mics and stuff, and everybody can be heard properly and. Things like that are going to be improved for fight night, you know, if it's going to be taken seriously. So that's the first point. Uh, 3 p.m. kickoff. Don't clash with the UFC. Uh, you haven't got people who've been on the piss all day before the fights even start. So it'll save potential riots. Um, and you get some sort of decent uh, 
cameraman and you know the that side of it has got to be up the notch and the third part this is the master stroke nobody listens to me that's why i've only got 270 subs and i see people with thousands of subs talking shit all the time but this is the master stroke now i believe ben Archer has been kicked off the bill uh for throwing a very very dodgy punch at lazar i thought that was very lame um in the circumstances and what i thought was lame as well was did she coming across and slapping him around the corner uh and then backing off saying keep an eye on that bloke um and then apparently he's been sitting in a chinese making a video about it tonight which he's taken down because he was getting too much grief so that was lame as well. So apparently, yeah, Ben Hatch has been kicked off the fight card. If he's being kicked off uh, for hitting somebody in the press conference, then obviously Ditchie's got to go as well. Um, you can't have inconsistencies like this. So red card for Hatchet, red card for Ditchie. They're both out of it. Obviously, that means that there's a bit of a mess up with the, the card. Now, living in London saying he's not fighting. He probably thinks I don't want to fight Ditchy if he's going to be uh, slapping me when I'm not looking, you know, after I've just been hit by somebody else when I wasn't really looking. So, new card. This is how it's going to work now. Fighting Trolls is offered a new fight. He will now fight living in London. Bit of animosity between them. There's already been a little bit today as well. Um, I don't think that that, uh, what's the guy's name, Donald, I don't think Donald uh, is, you know, the ideal fight for fighting trolls, maybe he is if he's supposed to be there just to knock him out, but uh, you know, if we're going to lose Ben Archer against uh, Bobby, I'm big up Bobby today. I said the other day he's going to be the star of this show. He was the star today. See him turn up with his flag, proud, doing his bit, promoting his fight. His fight's off now because Hatch is not there. Fighting trolls will now fight living in London. And Bobby from Dundee will now be fighting Donald Barkley. It is Donald, isn't it? Yeah, Donald Barkley. So Donald, who is going to fight fighting trolls, he should now fight Bobby, the Battle of Scotland. Uh, living in London, now fights fighting trolls. And uh, obviously then you got Big Dom against Leighton. Because, you know, what they're doing, yeah, as this as has been seen with, like, uh, Logan Paul and all them, you know, there's a lot of fight promotions. I'm sort of like a plastic when it comes to, uh, you know, the fight game. Do you know what I mean? UFC, boxing. I'll watch it and all that, but you know, I just like watching the top stuff. You know, I'm not really one for watching on the regular, you know, like a lot of proper fight fans. So what was sort of attracting me to this is the fact that these fucking YouTubers, do you know what I mean? And then I'd have watched the, you know, the proper fighters as well then. I do like to watch some of this stuff, you know, being from Swansea, the home of many world champions. Um, so you've got to have your YouTubers on it, you know. It's no good having just fighting trolls against... against. It's not a big draw, that, is it? Fighting trolls, you know, against that... Uh, Donald Barkley, Donnie. You know, it's not a big draw. I know trolls is bringing the numbers in and he's promoting it. And good luck to him, his channel's flying. You know, I watch it all the time. I'm not going to start criticising him. He's getting a lot of grief all around the place. But, you know, I did say I think they were starting to promote the fight a bit early when they were talking about it three or four weeks ago. I still maintain that, you know. Still a long way to go. And uh, nothing much has been sorted yet, is it? You know, this, the card's falling apart today a bit. So, yeah, this is my rescue package, right? You change the kickoff time. To avoid so many fucking drunken riots in the crowd and clashing with the UFC. Fighting trolls now fights living in London. That's a fight that a lot of people will be happy to pay their 9.99 to see. Uh, there's the Battle of Scotland. So Bobby doesn't lose out because of uh, Ben Hatchett playing up today. Barkley, Mr. Barkley doesn't lose out 
because uh, he's been putting the work in. He showed up today. Those two fight in a battle of Scotland. You got uh, Dom then fighting that Leighton guy. You know, Dom's doing what's required and he's put the training in. He showed up today doing the business. Um, and possibly bring one more uh, fight in from the YouTube community. Not sure who that quite should be yet. I haven't really thought that one through on any great level. Um, but yeah, after today, something's something's got to give, isn't it? They got to get the uh, they got to get the filming right. You know, they got. I'm thinking right, Turner for a pay per view, and the f press conference is not particularly filmed properly. I'm thinking, how are they going to film these fights, you know, properly? Is it going to be some guy in the corner of the ring on the phone? I don't know, and hopefully he doesn't accidentally turn it off, you know. You need, you need experts in these fields. Distinct lack of security there today, um, which is part of my reasoning behind moving to 3 o'clock start. You know, if they're going to have, like, fucking 500, 1,000 people, it's going to be fucking carnage at this rate, isn't it? If they've been on the piss traveling down, so they're going to be on the piss all day. You know what it's like when you go watch football and that. You know, I was with the Swans fans at Reading in 1993. Still a famous day. That's a carnage. Um, and a large reason for that was because we'd all been on the piss from six o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, three o'clock kickoff. A lot less barely done. Uh, everybody stays in to watch the UFC in the night if they want to. Uh, get in touch with people like Atwood or, you know, get some expert fucking help on board, yeah, with the filming. You know, you're in Manchester. Get into Manchester University, get the flipping final year media students involved. You know, they're all out making films around the place. Get them involved. There's a you know, big difference between... People filming and editing and know what they're doing and people who, who don't, yeah? You know, you need to delegate, lads. Delegate to experts. <coughs> and, yeah, new top of the bill. Living in London versus fighting trolls. That will encourage living in London not to pull out. He's not going to want to fight, did she, after the way he's been treated today. Uh, Bobby deserves to be on the bill after the effort he's put in, as does Mr Barkley. That's my suggestion, which will go largely ignored. Anyway, all the best. Hairy chest.